After arriving in San Diego, you ladies spent the afternoon on a yacht. The yacht? That was not a yacht. We are moving, we are moving. <laughs> we were on like, what's it called? Coast Guards, the Coast Guards boat. There's nothing bougie about this boat. Get back, get this back, get back. Yep, just like that. Girls, y'all can't be there. Sorry, Captain. So is CEO fun? I thought like, what's better than taking a bunch of people who really can't stand each other right now in the middle of the ocean on a boat isolated together? Genius. Don't ever f***ing expect me to have your f***ing back, though. Don't. What Don't you f***ing I didn't do anything. You want her to have your back? You watch what the f*** happens, Lisa. Just it was a really great idea. <laughs> no, I let me take my charcuterie board. <laughs> Something had to be sacrificed, and unfortunately, it happened to be a pair of shoes. Those shoes are not mine. Are they yours? They're not mine. They're great! Wait, are those her shoes? Someone came back and said, Jen threw some shoes overboard. And it was so funny. Lisa was so stressed out that they were hers. Oh my God. I hope they're not my Saint Laurent ones. I think she thought Angie's shoes were mine. Well, if you're so Put rich, my fish, shoes. buy another pair. My pre-ordered YSL shoes, thank God, were still on the bench, on the boat, or I would have been so upset. At that moment, I did not care about my shoes. I don't know. They're gone. I just bought them. I was really worried about my phone because it has all the photos of my daughter on it and just, you know, important things. So I was relieved. But to see Meredith and Heather laughing with her just completely changed my opinion of them and how I feel about them. Whose shoes were those? I don't know. Nobody knew whose shoes those were. I, I, did, I thought they were Jen's. I didn't know. Jen, Jen. I don't know who's. Overboard, I mean, but am I they playing the nice. shoe game? What I match faces to shoes? I don't know. Oh, Heather, I thought you were. I know. How oh. disappointing. Good time, girl. <laughs> Jen was just so intoxicated. Wait a minute. I need a drink to deal with these bitches. There was no reason for me to even go up and try and talk to her about the shoes because she was just so far gone. It would have made zero sense. And Whitney looked at me, and she said. There's her shoes. She goes, throw them overboard. And it was like, I tried to talk myself into doing it because I thought, okay, that bitch threw my shoes in the ocean. I'm going to throw hers overboard. And I looked at him and looked at him, and they were white, and my dress was white. And I just thought, you know what? Better move. I took her shoes. I put them on, and I wore them off the boat. And she stumbled off drunk. With no shoes With on. no shoes, barefoot. Yes, she and no she did not even know notice. that her no. shoes were gone. That is the better move. Like, I'm glad you didn't listen to me. Yeah. Cause that was petty. No, it was good though. I took it. I'm petty. Route. I play. I'm throwing the shit off the fucking boat. You yeah. throw my shoes. <laughs>
Like I literally was like, I had a pit in my stomach and I was like terrified inside. I'm like, I don't wanna look. I'm glad they didn't take it off. Like I would have died. The only person I wanna see naked is John Barlow. Like that's it, nobody else. At the luau dinner, Jen opens up to Heather about her feelings towards Angie Harrington. I show up at the choir auditions, Angie's there. My feelings were hurt. You know, at this dinner, to deflect from Heather and Jen's issues, they're like bringing it back to Whitney. My feelings were hurt. That she showed up with Whitney in a matching outfit. A little bit of blame coming on me. I think we're all friends yeah, with let's Angie. Talk, let's this talk has about nothing this. to do with This is par for course for Heather. Like, Heather can never take accountability for the things she's doing. And especially when they're like really sh things, Heather cannot take any accountability for it. So, of course, she's going to blame Whitney. I just felt like Fruit Ninja, you know, just like everybody's coming at me and just like, you've told me that if Jen ever gave you an ultimatum, you would not be friends with her no more. The girls continue to friendship with you. And this I still girl don't get continue why. a friendship with me? You know, like, keep coming, who's next? I don't want to talk about feelings anymore. I just want to luau and eat and drink with some girlfriends and make some jokes. And I think we all could use that. So I don't know. I just feel like this is exactly why I didn't want to come, you guys. Like, I knew what time it was. Like, I knew this was coming. Don't deflect and don't change the subject. Heather will just do whatever serves her in that yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes Heather forgets. I didn't know that she was gonna show I up did, with Whitney. I, I had I, no I, idea. I, I did not know you Angie You invited was us. Angie to choir and I, auditions? Yeah, Angie and I both posted not it on our social media to try out. Yeah. Or she just flip flops. And yeah. it's based on other people's reactions. Right. So if she sees, wait, Jen's getting upset about this, she's gonna change her reaction to the situation. Right. Heather was fine with me at the beginning of the trip. Oh, Angie's hooked yeah. up in San Diego. It was once she saw Jen was mad at me. I you gave you a fucking $5,000 necklace. Don't, don't lie, Angie. She turned on me and took it as like, here is this opening that I'm gonna go after Angie K now and try and deflect from things that I've done to Jen and I'm gonna expose Angie for being a bad friend. She was acting like this trip was her thing that's like taking the best room and doing all these things and like not even acknowledging me. Heather came on, to, was on this trip thinking like, me and Jen are kind of like done, I'm the odd one out here. And then when she saw an issue between Angie and Jen, she just looked as, at that as her opportunity to be like, I'm gonna get Jen back. It doesn't matter all the things I've been doing, I get Jen back. I know you have never been ambushed like that. It's horribly painful, I know. I want you to take a deep breath because you're good, you're strong. I'm making the touchdown and that's Jen. I'm, I've got her back and you're on the outs now, meaning Angie. There are some patterns. There is, there is. And talking it out and processing it is really eye-opening. Like, listen, Whitney and I did not have a perfect past. Whitney's getting thrown under the bus and it's easy to just keep blaming Whitney. But Whitney's like taking the heat for stuff that I think they're responsible for doing and they're dysfunctional. I don't even want to call it a friendship. That's not a friendship. It's a weird. It wasn't all smooth sailing on the boat. I just like literally wish I got into like one of the tenders and took off. Go! No, I'm Go not. do that no. sh that sh Listen, no, I need to my charcuterie board. She keeps making comments about go be with your friend Angie. Don't do this to me. I'm a good friend to you. Don't do this to and me. And be a good friend, because I, if I did this with, with Angie Harrington, you'd be fing livid. If Jen's mad at Angie, we all have to be mad at Angie. I didn't do anything to her. I, I was definitely going to stand up for Angie, but it doesn't mean I haven't been a great friend to Jen. I think that she was like thinking I was choosing sides. It's not even about choosing sides. It's like you just did something horrible to our friend. Let's do this. Are you serious, Jen? Yeah, I am serious. What she just did was not funny, not fun. It wasn't something we do on every girl's trip. You know what, in Arizona, we might have like had like a little fun on the trolley, but it wasn't demeaning and it was like actually like fun. Wait, is this a wet t-shirt contest? <laughs> I didn't like my boots getting ruined. Yeah. Which is like, these are from the Gaucho collection in 2007. Felt like it wasn't, it was fun. And I'm not gonna let Angie feel isolated and sit here uncomfortable because she's my friend too. Has anyone noticed that whenever Jen is upset, it always turns yeah, to Lisa? Always. It always, yep. Jen could be mad at her doctor and somehow it'll always turn to being mad at it's Lisa. It's a pattern.
It's really mm -hmm. interesting and I don't know what it's, it's about, I, but. I think it's because Lisa is not as loud and aggressive and like vocal as much as Jen. There to the f***ing bats. It was one time, time. Meredith. And Jen probably feels like she's an easy target. But Lisa will engage, and we've discussed this. She'll engage Lisa, on Lisa, yeah. And she will. And she doesn't that. back down. Come on, come, come on. No, 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 no. Jen likes that. She likes the response. She doesn't want to be shut down. She doesn't want to be in, in ignored. She wants you to engage, and Lisa will engage with her. Yeah, it fuels Jen, probably. Yeah, so she, she wasn't done with you. She yeah. needed more. I have been your friend, and I'm a good just exhausting emotionally. This isn't fun. I'm not having a great time on this bow. And I'm seeing more and more clearly that Jen Shaw is not my friend. It's a one-sided friendship. There's like a lot of those. <laughs>